Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some champions. My favorite time. Now, Cyber Weekend is here. It's going to last for a week, and they have some offers that eh, not too many people are really ecstatic about. The general consensus is that they're just kind of okay. All right? But I went and got... Uh, a few bundles. I didn't get all of the bundles. And if you haven't watched my opening, go check that opening out. I did get a couple of bangers, but my excitement comes from ranking up champions. So, you know, I had someone say that, you know, I only got maybe one good champ. I spent all these units for RNG. That's not all I got. And in this video, you see what I got because I have so much fun ranking champions up. All right, so without further ado, if you guys want to watch the video, go do it now. If you want to try to guess, you've got nine champions to guess who I am gonna be ranking up. And we're gonna go all the way from three, rank threes, to my rank fours, to a rank five, and then two, rank to seven stars okay all right so we are going to start in five four three two one. First one up is going to be blade okay so you guys remember save for blade and all that good stuff i finally got blade from the crystals and of course i was going to take him up to three there's no way I was going to leave him at rank one. Now, he's not awakened, but I have like eight awakening gems, generic. So at any point in time, if I feel like I need him awakened for some purpose, you know, maybe I need to take him up to rank four, I'll probably awaken him. I don't, I don't want to have anyone at rank four unawakened if I can help it. And I can awaken him. Now, there might be some at rank four that don't really need to be awakened. But that's just me. I, I want to have my champs at rank four awakened. So Blade, he is the first one to go to rank three. All right. So the second one in the video is going to be my boy Luke Cage. Now, I told you guys that I have a soft spot for Luke Cage. Now, back in the day, he was nicknamed Pillow Hands because he should have a lot of strength and, and all of this. But in this game, his damage was weak. Very, very weak. Well, they gave him a buff. His damage is much, much better than it was originally. However, time has passed, and you've got champions that hit way harder than he does. So while I don't think I will be using him, you never know. And he's my guilty pleasure. I don't know why. I just enjoy fighting with Luke Cage, probably because he was one of the um, Marvel characters that I could relate to when I was younger. And um, it was in a comic called Power Man and Iron Fist. That is what the comic was called. Power Man is Luke Cage. And I loved his attitude his no-nonsense practicality, and, of course, his strength. And I, he was awesome, okay? So I always have had a soft spot for Luke Cage. All right, the next one is going to be Moon Dragon. Now, Moon Dragon is the champion. <clears throat> if you guys watched me do um, uh, the 7 for 7 Karina Challenge... I went in to one fight, the uh, Kang fight, with Mantis. Then I was surprised because I was like, wait a minute. I saw someone in Necropolis fighting with Mantis, and she was immune to reverse controls. And she even had a pre-fight. And I was like, I didn't know that. I had never seen that. There's a reason. Mantis doesn't have it. Moon Dragon does. I just got them too confused. 
So that is what's behind me taking up Moon Dragon because I like the fact that she can give that immunity to another champion. Now, I already have, you know, for the Necropolis, when I finally do it, I already have a Wiccan, a seven-star Awakened Wiccan. So I'll probably end up bringing him in there other than, you know, instead of a uh, Moon Dragon. But I wanted to have her at least at rank three because I could see myself eventually taking her um, into some content even if it was just for the pre-fight, but you never know what will happen and I might want to use her in a fight. And if she's only rank one, I'm not bringing her into that content. So that's why I decided to take up uh, Moon Dragon. Now, this next one. This one is the first in the video of my rank fours, okay? And this one is going to be Juggernaut. Now, you guys know I was hunting for Juggernaut for a while. And I finally, finally got him. I think it was in a Nexus. He was the first one. And I was like, whoa, yeah, that's how you do it, All right? So I told you at the beginning of the video that there are 10 rank ups but there's only nine champions. This is why. When I got Juggernaut, I ranked him up to three. That was before the Cyber Weekend deals hit. So I had a rank up for Juggernaut to three, but I didn't make the video. I thought I had. It was, um, I think, Blade... I think it was Blade, um, Juggernaut, and uh, Luke Cage. I think I uh, leveled those guys up together in one level up. But I just never made the video. And then the weekend deals hit, and I'm like, ooh, I can get some uh, rank four gems. I told you, that's what really excites me. So... I went ahead and got some rank four gems in those bundles. And then I started thinking, who am I going to take up? Well, got to take up Juggernaut. Now, Juggernaut exists as a seven star. And I might get Juggernaut as a seven star. The only advantage that the six star Juggernaut would have is I can awaken and get his sig level up. His awakened ability is not necessary for him to be the juggernaut, but it is a nice to have. You basically get a chance to nullify buffs on your opponent. That is very useful. So I will most likely awaken my juggernaut and start pumping uh, six stones into him. But... That is why I had to bring up Juggernaut. Juggernaut looks, not only does Juggernaut look fun since his rework, but he is great in Battlegrounds. I mean, ah, he is awesome, okay? So if you have a Juggernaut, rank him up. He's worth it. If you can get the seven star, all the better. If I get a seven star Juggernaut, he will probably end up going to rank two at some point in time. Okay, that's how good Juggernaut is. All right, now, the next rank four champion is going to be a surprise to you guys, perhaps. And the next one is going to be Ant-Man. Now, here's why I took Ant-Man up to rank four. This meta in Alliance War benefits decay attackers. So there are a bunch of different decay attackers that I have. However, just because you're a decay attacker doesn't mean you are immune to buffs. Found that out when I went to fight a um, Ebony Maw. Ebony Maw is a global defender. I went in there with my Quicksilver, who can do that fight, 
But Quicksilver does gain buffs, not on his own. He's just not immune to it. So when Ebony Maw throws up that special one and then does it again to nullify the fury that he put on you, you're going to degen. Can't do that with Ant-Man. Ant-Man is immune to buffs. So basically, Ant-Man is another option. Now, I went in with a rank three Ant-Man before, and that fight just took a long time. So I want to have Ant-Man at rank four. And if I can get the seven star, which I was actually um, hoping for, you know, so I wouldn't have to rank up the uh, six star, but it's okay. Uh, there will be, it looks like they are ramping up the um, rank up resources. So I will be getting more, uh, but I still wouldn't mind getting an Ant-Man as a seven star. That immunity to buffs is huge, okay? All right, so that is the uh, second rank four of the video. Now, the third rank four of the video is going to be someone who I needed to rank up a long time ago. And that one is Mole God. Now, you guys that have watched me do uh, Battlegrounds. You've seen me use my Mole Man in Battlegrounds. Some of you were surprised at what Mole Man did to uh, Doom when I went up against him. Mole Man is awesome. Well, that Mole Man who did that was only a rank three. And I just kept taking up other uh, champions over him. You know, I, I took up Kingpin over him. And I actually was thinking of taking up my Hitmonkey, who I also use a lot in Battlegrounds. But I said, no, Mole Man, because first of all, Mole Man can shrug buffs off. So that is huge. Yes, Hitmonkey can do that as well, but not as regularly or consistently as Mole Man. Not only that, Mole Man, he is just insane for a lot of encounters. OK, so uh, this meta, for example, season, uh, what is it, 13, I think it is. Uh, he does really good. But having him rank four means I may not time out on certain fights. You know, I went up against a Hulkbuster, a big, beefy Hulkbuster. And I still won that match. And it was because of. Mole Man being at rank four doing a lot more damage. Okay, so that is Mole God. Now, here, next up, is the first rank five. I got a rank five gem. And I thought about this one for a little bit. And I decided to do Hulkling. Now, Hulkling almost got the rank five before Hercules. Hercules is not available as a seven star, probably never will be. So I went ahead and maxed him out. I took him to rank five and I ascended him. He is definitely useful. I don't think anybody would deny that, right? Well, Hulkling is as well. If you watch my war videos, you see me using Hulkling often. In fact, since this uh, rank up, I brought him into war. Wait till y'all see that. Okay. Now, not only did I take my Hulkling to rank five, also ascended him. I got a bunch of dust and I'm like, hey, what am I waiting for? So now I have a rank five ascended Hulkling and he is a beast. I also use him a lot in Battlegrounds. So Hulkling is definitely an option. And he is not in the seven-star pool, at least not that I've seen yet. So also, to me, a great option. And he is SIG 200. Okay. So that is the end of my six stars. Okay. And... Now you see why 
it's 10 rank ups, but only nine champions because Juggernaut was actually two rank ups that I just kind of combined in this video. Now we get to the seven stars. If you think you can guess who I'm taking up, leave a comment. But we're about to reveal the first one in five, four, three, two, one. Venom. We Come on, are Venom. I know y'all thought y'all knew. Y'all thought y'all knew. If you watched my opening, you thought you knew who I was going to take up. But no. Venom. Venom is insane. Okay? I've got the Venom relic on him in Battlegrounds, which is where I have him. He crushes. Okay? I was crushing with him in the 7 for 7. I was like, oh my goodness. Now, one of the things that made me hesitate was the little RNG nature of his buffs in the uh, beginning. He randomly gets certain buffs. Now, I took him in against, say, Habit. He needs to have an armor up buff. But sometimes he gets it, sometimes he doesn't. And when he doesn't, I get wrecked. And so I'm like, eh, I like Venom, I really do. But that kind of annoyed me. But then I discovered something. Heavy attack. Doesn't just do an armor break. You also can get another cycling of his buff. Just the last one. So you hit a, if you don't get your armor up, heavy. You might get it then. If you don't get it that one, heavy again. And you might get it then. So it is still a little RNG, but if I go in again against a Havoc, now I know what I need to do. I need to heavy attack till I get the armor up and we're good. But there's also other buffs that he gets. And uh, he's crazy. He insane. And at rank two, yeah. I also wanted to kind of spread out my classes because I haven't done the Necropolis yet. Once I do uh, an initial clear of the Necropolis, we're going to see... Um, what class I get for a rank three. All right, but I don't know yet. So Venom is my cosmic. And I also have two mutants. All right, now, the last one, very last one for the video is another seven star. And it's going to be Warlock. Now, y'all knew that was coming. Now, you may have thought that I was going to do Warlock first. But you knew I was going to do Warlock. I love my boy Warlock. Crazy. Now, if you don't know about Warlock, because he's not a new champion, you need to know about Warlock. And he doesn't need to be awakened, just like Venom doesn't really need to be awakened. In fact, some people say that Venom is better unawakened, easier to cycle his uh, buffs. But Warlock, the only thing he gets when he's awakened, he'll put some degen on them when they try to heal while they are heal blocked. That's it. So depending on the fight, if they don't have willpower on or you know anything like that, it won't even matter. If they have an armor up buff on, it won't matter. Okay, so Warlock doesn't really need to be awakened. And you better be sure I'm bringing him in to Battlegrounds. And I might bring him into Alliance War as well, depending on what the meta is and who I'm fighting. But anyway... That is going to do it, guys. That is my Rank Up Palooza. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you haven't subscribed to me already, give me a subscription. It's free. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.